So in our lab we have traditionally been looking at the maturation and fertilization of the pig embryos and recently we have found or there's been this big push in society that's a lot of people are waiting to have children and we're looking at people that are, are trying to conceive at a much later age and there's a lot of biology that, that goes awry with that because initially the people weren't designed to do that. It's definitely been a lot of work but um, I've also got to learn a lot on the way um, just to, as a general about research and what, what is all involved. So what we've decided to tackle or to, to challenge ourselves is to look to see if or during the aging process of the ovary and of the oocytes, the female gamete, if there's some epigenetic modifications that are occurring there. It's been a learning experience um, with this research. Um, prior to joining, I didn't really um, know the process of research, and so it was really interesting to learn like everything that goes into it between uh, collecting the data, analyzing it, and presenting it at conferences. I've got to meet a lot of very interesting people through these conferences and hear all about their research, as well as be able to talk to them about my research and what we've done here. There's definitely an element of problem solving that goes into research, being able to overcome any obstacles that we encounter with a process that isn't working or we need to figure out what type of chemical to use on an oocyte. So if I do go into medical practice and I come up with a difficult case, that those skills can really help me with overcoming that. And so I've really learned a lot about the entire process of it and how it uh, helps to further the field of animal science. The backbone of our research really is the undergraduate students and a lot of this, most of this wouldn't be able to be accomplished without their help um, for the sheer volume of, of experimental units we go through. Thank you.